Hello, today's topic is Project Base Point and Survey Point. Project Base Point is considered as one of the project first settings as well as the survey point. But what is Project Base Point? Project Base Point is a reference point. It can be used to establish a reference for measuring distances and positioning objects in relation to our model. Then, what is the survey point? The survey point identifies a real-world location point. It represents a known point in the physical world, such as a geodetic survey marker or the intersection of two property lines or a point from municipality. In defining project base point and survey point, there are three scenarios. The first scenario or the default scenario is when survey point and project base point are at the same point, 0, 0, 0 coordinates. Scenario two is when unclipping the project base point. Scenario three is when clipping the project base point. Scenario 1 or the default scenario. Defining coordinates for the survey point and project base point to be 0, 0, 0 at grids 1 and A for example. To illustrate that, I would open a new project. Architectural template. Okay. I need to go to the site floor plan. Project base point and survey point. Both are at 0, 0, 0 coordinates. I am going to create two grid lines, A and 1, and the intersection of these two grid lines would be my survey point and project base point. Architectural grid architectural grid I would change that grid line to be A then I will model my project or my building as shown need to save that project or that building save as project by name for example project base point versus survey point now i have created my building and my project base point and survey point at 0, 0, 0 coordinates please make sure to go to properties visibility and graphic edit go to site Make sure that project base point and survey point are checked. Okay. Or from view tab, visibility graphic, also the same. Site. And project base point, survey point are checked. Scenario 2. Unclipping the project base point. Before we get started, we need to know what is meant by clipping and unclipping. This icon is called Change Clip State of Point. This is the clipping state of that point. I mean the clipping state of the project base point. And this is the unclipping state of the project base point. I am going to unclip the project base point move from that point to that point for example unclipping the project base point means the building will not move its position relatively to the survey point in other words unclipping the project base point gives the survey point the freedom to stay at the assigned grid lines, in our case, grid line 1 and A. 
This strategy or approach optimizes our use of the project base point and the survey point and keeps the survey point at 0, 0, 0 which are the original coordinates of rivet. Scenario 3 Clipping the project base point Select the project base point and survey point Filter Uncheck the survey point and keep project base point checked because I want to move it. I mean to move the project base point and apply OK. Move from that point to that point for example. The survey point is at 0, 0, 0 but it is out of the grid line 1 and A. There is no reference for that survey point. Consequently, the building will move its position relatively to the survey point. That's why scenario 3 is not recommended. And to go back to my original situation or scenario number 1, I select on project base point, type in 0 for north-south coordinate and type in 0 for the east-west coordinate. Moving to applying sea level elevation to the project. In some projects for infrastructure services purpose and rainstorm management, we adjust the real vertical position of the project base point. This is by applying elevation base. By default, projects start with the project base point at zero elevation. All other elevations are relative to this zero elevation. To apply elevation base, we need to go to an elevation view, for example, south elevation. Select the project base point, elevation. I will set that value, for example, to be minus two meters. And please note the following. Although I have set the elevation of my project base point to be minus 2 meters, level 1 shows elevation at 0 meter elevation and accordingly level 2 would be 5 meter elevation because the height between level 1 and level 2 is 5 meters. The explanation for that will be shown as following. Click on level 1 properties edit type constraints elevation base our level one shows that uh, its elevation is zero because the elevation base were set to project base point but if i choose to be survey point instead level one now is showing minus two meters elevation and accordingly level two would be three meters instead of 5 meters. This is because we have set the elevation base of the project base point to be survey point and instead of setting the elevation base to be project base point. Again, I will select my level 1 datum and properties edit type. I will set my elevation base to be project base point again level 1 went back to its original elevation of 0 and also level 2 went back to its original value of 5 meter elevation. It is recommended to clip the project base point or else the project base point will be moved out of its reference datum level 1 for example.